Today I'm going to show you how to set up secure boot for NixOS. Due to some not totally clear explanations on how to do this on the NixOS wiki and or also on the guide of the guy who makes the secure boot module for NixOS, I wanted to show it in a video just to answer some questions. So to get started, here is the GitHub link. Uh, I will also share it in the video description so you can just click on that and go, go along with me on the video. Uh, this is called Lanza Bote. I guess he wants it to be pronounced, the, the GitHub project owner wants it to be pronounced like the island uh, near Spain called Lanzarote and therefore I just pronounce it like that. If it's wrong, let me know. Anyways, uh, so what I suggest is that you click here on the quick start guide here, and then this page will open here. So there are a few things you need to make sure that are requirements. First is that you will need to install your NixOS system with an EFI partition, so in UEFI mode, and that systemd boot is your bootloader. You cannot do it with Grub with grub. It's impossible. Another thing what you should consider for secure boot to make sense, in a sense, so to speak, is that you have full disk encryption on. Obviously, it's not mandatory, but otherwise, secure boot doesn't really make sense unless you would have it in a fully encrypted Windows in, alongside a fully encrypted Windows installation, and you just want to have secure boot enabled and working for Linux plus secure boot working for Windows where you have it fully encrypted. But my recommendation is to encrypt your full Linux installation. So that out, out of the way, um, let's get started. So yeah, here, they also mentioned here that you will basically you own secure boot keys and that you will sign your own binaries. The next step is basically you will need to follow this stuff here, like those guides I will show you through, but important is that you first install SBCTL and NIV. If you don't have those two, then it will not work. So you need to have those system packages no matter what. And just something on the side, this will also work if you're using Flakes or if you're using the normal uh, common situation, even though they have a Flake specific thing, you don't need to use the Flake specific instructions. If you just use Flakes, it will still work no matter what. Just follow along. So we have system uh, SBCTL and NIF installed and they're already working. And the next step, what you need to do is basically create those keys and it will look exactly like that. I can't show you already because I have already secure boot installed, but I just show you along. So basically it will look exactly like that. It will create a on a UUID and it creates the secure boot keys and then it will show you that secure boot keys have been created. This is and for this you need the SBCTL. The next step would be that you have NIV at next community lens like you literally at the um, the source here, but for this to work, and this is a little bit missing because you will need click like you will see here on this NIV link that uh, you will need to install NIV and to initialize initialize it. So what you would need to do is NIV in it. Uh, I will just do it in a different path just to show you. Uh, make a new test folder going to test and I do it here NIF in it and now you will see that it created an additional Nix folder. I would suggest that you do it in your basic NixOS path so basically that you have the Nix folder here just so for ease of use later on. So inside this NixOS in this Nix folder you will have two files sources json and sources nix we can ignore them for now but just when you add and i go back into the test folder to show it to you in you need to be in the main folder where you find the nix folder you cannot be inside the nix folder otherwise it won't work it expects you to be basically in the parent folder of the nix folder and then you type in 
nix add and then the pal uh, the the file package uh, like the repository package and the file version and then we add the package and that's literally it for that part the next part we can create this file here i called mine just very easy lancerbolter.nix so you literally just copy and paste everything exactly like it is in here and paste it in here that's it. The next step, what is important, is that you add it in your imports inside your configuration.nix file. So here inside the configuration.nix file, I added Lanzaborte. And that's already almost it. The next step is you need to NixOS rebuild switch before you do in, before you verify your secure boot. Once you verify your secure boot, here I show you, it will show you a few few things so basically this all depends obviously on the generations you have how long this file is you should maybe do a garbage clean just beforehand then the next step after you've done the verify like it shows you no error message like like oh yeah it couldn't read the file or whatever if it comes similar to this or like what is shown here then you are on a good tra good track and the next step would be to enable the secure boot. This example here is made for Lenovo laptops in mind, but uh, it is usually pretty similar on HP or other laptops or other computers. So basically you need to go into your BIOS and you need to go into your security tab to enable secure boot. So what you need to do is like basically enable secure boot and then it should give you a setup mode option to click onto this basically doesn't really enable secure boot to boot from it still boots as if it was not secure boot but it is opening it up to for keys to be signed and added to the system so once you've done that you save your bios settings and you reboot back into nixos after you boot it back into NixOS, you literally just copy paste this command and it will enroll your keys to EVI variables. This just means that those boot entries will get signatures with the keys. Once you've done that and it showed enrolled keys to EVI variables, you reboot the machine again. You don't have to do anything in BIOS again. It will just start into secure boot. And if it boots up, and you do bootctl status it should show it like this here important is secure boot enabled tpm support to uh, tpm2 support yes and boot into firmware supported if that's working congratulations you enable secure boot and everything is up and running and you should be able to have uh nixos running alongside a bitlocker encrypted windows and stuff like that and that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.